What's up guys, in this video we're going to talk about COVID-19, the coronavirus, and my dog, Shanna. How you doing, Shanna? We just ran at the dog park, and she's tired, and we need to get her some water. But anyway, do I have something? All right. Anyway, here's the point. Um, what was my point? Coronavirus is bullshit. It is fucking bullshit. COVID-19 is bullshit. It is bullshit. There, I said it. Oh my God, can other people please say it with me too? It's bullshit. Stop like obsessing about this. And here, let me, let me back it up a little bit and explain a little bit about what I mean. Before the protests and the rioting and the looting all started because of George Floyd, all you saw on the news was the coronavirus this, COVID-19 that, all these people are dying. Oh my God, it's so bad, it's so terrible. As soon as the protests and the looting start, it's like everybody took a week off from it. The media completely took a week off and all they did was cover the protests. Oh, you know, George Floyd got killed. This, you know, these riots happened in Minnesota. These riots happened in L.A. Um, you know, all this bad stuff happened. 10,000 people protested, 20,000, 100,000 people protesting on the streets. And meanwhile, you see and they, they show these videos of actually like tens of thousands of people packed in together. They're not practicing social distancing at all. They're not doing shit. They're packed in together. Some of them are wearing masks, some of them aren't. And it's like a complete joke. It's like if there actually was a pandemic, if there actually was, if there was actually a deadly disease that was going around and killing lots of people, people wouldn't go out and protest 20,000, 100,000 people. They wouldn't do it. It would not happen. It would not happen, period. Because number one, they'd be scared to get killed from the disease but it's fucking bullshit. The coronavirus is the same virus that causes the common cold. The media completely overreacted. The entire country overreacted. It created a domino effect. And the people who run the fucking mainstream media stations are capitalized on, capitalizing on this to try and make it uh, a big deal because it's an election year and it needs to stop. It's, it's ridiculous. And you know what's crazy? Okay, so why am I so upset about this? Is because now that the, the riots are basically over, as far as I understand, and maybe there's still some protests here and there, but they're kind of dying down. Like you can only protest for so long, really, let's be honest. Now that that's kind of dying down, the media is going back to the coronavirus story and they're saying, oh my God, there's so many new cases of the coronavirus in this state and that state. Read these articles. There's not a single mention of how the increased cases in coronavirus are from the protests. Not a single one. Not a single one. And all, what is it all from? It's all from, oh, you know, Texas has reported 6,000 new cases of coronavirus and Governor George, whatever his name, Abbott, George Abbott, or whatever his name is, the governor of, of Texas who is like, oh, we're going to open Texas because we don't give a fuck, we're Texas, and this coronavirus thing is bullshit. Basically, not in so many words. But what the, the media is doing is they're saying, oh, George Abbott came under fire for reopening Texas early, and that's why there's so many new coronavirus cases. Meanwhile, in all the places where like people are going ham, protesting and looting and doing crazy shit, all right, I guess LA had a lot of like new coronavirus cases, but they didn't mention that it could be from the fucking 100,000 person protest. You know, no mention of that at all. It's complete bullshit. The media has an agenda. I can't even believe that I'm saying this. Like, I'm one of those crazy people now who's talking about the media agenda and all that shit. But like, you have to be an idiot to not recognize this stuff. You actually have to be an idiot to not see what's really going on. So, I don't know, what am I even asking you to do? But like, go on social media and fucking argue with people on Facebook? Is that really what, is that the only thing we can do? I really don't know. Boycott CNN? I don't fucking watch CNN anyway. Do you guys watch the news? Does anybody actually, like, the problem is that they say such outrageous shit that creates conversation and you're just like, it doesn't matter if you agree with them or not because even just acknowledging them is like giving them more fuel for the fire. So I really honestly don't know what to do at this point. Like I said in a previous video, I'm currently in Texas. I don't fucking wear a mask anywhere. I don't give a fuck. I think this whole thing is bullshit. I'm now like openly admitting it. Whereas before I was like, well, maybe it's, you know, not as bad as they say. No, it's fucking bullshit. And anybody who says it's not bullshit is a fucking scumbag asshole loser virtue signaling cocksucker really straight up like I can't stand this shit anymore so what do you think about that actually what do you think about that but what I really want to know is what can we actually do to make sure this doesn't ruin the United States the media is out of control and they really do not give a shit how much damage they do to the United States in terms of like economic damage because all they're interested in is um, getting views on their media channels I guess and uh, honestly, I really think they're just like, are they not pushing an agenda? How, how can you argue that they're not? Really? I mean, it's like, it's so obvious. Am I wrong? I don't know. I'm not wrong. You're wrong. 
anyway, what can we do to combat this? Please let me know. I want to know. I want to do something, even though, I mean, I care. I really care at this point because like, I want to go back to living a normal life. Don't you guys want to go back to living a normal life? You want to wear a fucking stupid mask everywhere for no reason? Because some people who are already sick got sicker. And some people who are already in really bad health, like, got the fucking flu and now are more sick. It's a joke. Like, you can't keep letting this go on anymore. I, I really want to know after, like, are there, are there really people out there who believe this thing? And you, meanwhile, you were completely quiet when the whole protest thing was going on. You didn't mention that like, yeah, it sucks about George Floyd, but maybe there's like a deadly disease that's going around. Maybe it's the be not the best time to fucking go 100,000 people in the street and like march and be angry. Nobody thought to say anything like that. No, but oh, really? The coronavirus is really that bad? Like, fuck you, man. Who the fuck do you think you're kidding? It's a joke. I'm angry. Anyway, what do you guys think about that? Let me know. Leave me a comment. Did you like this video? Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Peace.